G'day guys, welcome back to another a tutorial today. Another tutorial, oh my god, another tutorial, oh my god, 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 oh my god. Today's tutorial will be about wear and tear and bearings. Today we are going to be discussing and demonstrating and how to, well, what to do in an event that maybe there might be some vibration in the bearings. Now don't worry, it's not the end of the world if you get a vibration in the bearings. But it's just that's telling you that the turbine's gradually getting unbalanced due to how fast they're spinning. Over time, they will begin to wear, same as the pumps will go over the pumps as well. So when it gets to one, level one of vibration, doesn't really affect anything. But when it gets to level two, that's when we start to worry. So, <clears throat> the first thing you want to do when you see this is when it gets to number two, we want to wind, start to wind down one turbine. Now, why do we need to wind down one turbine so long? Well, basically when you release all the steam out of the, all the pressure out of the turbine, all the steam will go back into the drum. And then it will go into this turbine, it will speed this up quite literally. <laughs> we'll start to speed this one up due to the amount of steam that's going back into the drum. So, the first thing you're going to do when you witness level 1 bearing, or level 2 bearing, whatever you want, doesn't really matter. Pref personal preference to do it at level 2 so you can get more power generated is we're going to have to unsync the turbine. Now how do you do that? Well, you don't want to unsync it straight away because then all the load of the generator will begin to wind the turbine all the way up again. Now what we're first thing we want to do is decrease the, the pressure. Now you might have heard that the Turbine 6 started to speed up a little bit. That is an example of the steam going back into the drum, and the, all the steam will escape back out of the drum, it will go into one turbine. So you're going to have to make sure we have to compensate for that, which the comrades are not doing. Which is, well, this is okay, not the end of the world. So as it winds down now, when it winds down to zero RPM, then we'll start to call the engineers to rebalance the turbine. Now that it's reached to zero RPM, we're going to have to call the engineers now using the phone at the center of the desk. Hello, hello. Right now we're in turbine 5, so we click turbine 5. Alright, I can balance the turbine out. Please stop the turbine so I can begin working. Now he will begin to work on rebalancing the turbine. It may take up to more than up, depends on how unbalanced the turbine is. It will probably take up to nearly two to five minutes. Uh, if you're lucky, about one and a half minutes. I haven't timed this, this is off uh, ba ba basic, but if it's at level two, normally it takes about five minutes if it's heavily unbalanced. So as they are fixing that, I'm gonna show you how to do the pumps. After the work is complete, after the rebalancing is done, they will give you a call back and tell you what the condition of the, of the bearings and the turbines were and just tells you how balanced they were, how unbalanced they were, etc, etc, etc. Next thing you want to move on to is pumps. Now, pumps is pretty much the same deal, but it's a little bit complicated to spot. Now, you have your gauges here. This is your, MCB, this is your MCPs, main circulation pumps. We got ourselves MCP 14, 13, 12, 11, blah, 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 blah. These are your valves as stated in the second part of the tutorial as I explain the valves and the pump system um, you'll notice, start to notice wear when I'm going to try and show one that does have wear they're all not worn at the moment so you can see these orange dots here when they reach maybe up to say what's that tons of hundreds, 75 tons of hundreds, 7500 I'm pretty sure um, when it gets, to basically simplify it, 75, when it gets uh, below 75 or in, middle, in, the, in the middle here, that, it's starting to wear. So when this gets like below this line here, it's starting to wear. No dramas though, it's just, this is why we only have, this is why we have one auxiliary pump off, so it can compensate for it. 
Because when you start to wind down pumps, there's going to be less water being pumped through the core. Means less water, less means less steam. Means less RPM on the turbines. Now we're going to have to compensate for that. So we're going to have to turn this pump off and this pump on. Which will compensate for the pump that's being fixed. Now remember, current before the valve. It's in the book. So MCP14, for example, let's say MCP14 has, has a little wear on it. We have to wind that MCP down. Simply click the green button to decrease the flow and decrease the current and it will start to wind down the flow. Next thing you want to do is shut off the valve, like so. Like so, we have shut off the valve. Now, using the phone next to you or at the center of the desk, you have to call up the engineers to inspect the pump and they will fix it accordingly. So we, we just shut off turbine 14. So we press MCP 14, main circulation pump 14, and then they will begin working. Now our turbine has has finished rebalance, so they will call you. And it will tell you the condition of the turbine. It was just a bit unbalanced, thank you very much. And now the turbine is back to normal, and they can run it back up. Tell the comrades that they can run it back up now. Hello, hello, run it back up, run it back up, run it back up, run it back up, run it back up. Now, now we got their attention to run it back up. Um, now we, to compensate for it, we can turn this uh, main circulation pump 11 on. And then increase the flow of that, of that pump. And there we go, it has been successfully compensated for the one that's being fixed. And now we're back up to regular steam. Now the comrades are... Now the comrades are taking this one uh, back up as well. As it's as just fixed... Uh, balanced. It's just been rebalanced. So now we can just leave it how it is. Even when they're finished, we can just leave it how it is because this we have now have a uh, now this pump's being fixed. This will be an auxiliary pump. Say so if we need to take number twelve or thirteen away, we can put this back up to compensate for that. Remember, never turn more than two pumps off at a time. Only turn the pump off that you want fixed. Don't turn off the pumps in pre in preparation for them to get fixed. It means less water being pumped to the core. It means per thermal power will start to increase. More heat, more thermal power. And that's about covers it, guys. So now the comrade now here is going to be uh, going to wind down this turbine now. He's going to shut off the steam. Our main circulation pump is finished. And just like that, our main circulation pump is now finished being fixed and it should run as normal again. This is turbine number six, by the way, guys, and this is turbine number five. As it starts to wind down, when it gets to zero, they'll start working on rebalancing the turbine. Just like that. That's how you fixed uh, vibration and pump wear. It's pretty spin simple, guys. If this found help, if you found this helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It really does appreciate. Appreciate. Really does help me out a lot. And I'll be making a lot more videos on Chernobyl Unit Three, as per usual. I just thought I'd cover this up. I just thought I'd cover this. 
because a lot of people do seem get, to get confused on wearing and vibration etc etc so it's just a little quick video on a little bit of an extension on the, our tutorials um, hopefully unit 3 real build should be coming out sometime in a couple of months or the upcoming months when Soki finishes the rebuild it looks like it's pretty close but you never know um, I'm still pretty sure he's still building the actual plant itself but as I, I have no idea as of now but you know obviously I'll be covering tutorials on the rebuild as it, because I'm not gonna leave you guys in the dark obviously I'll be doing some tutorials on the rebuild and yeah that is pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a thumbs up remember to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial goodbye